What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Flash on the Apple devices has been a very polarizing topic without much of a resolution. Apple has their side, Adobe, the makers of Flash, have theirs, and there really wasn't a solution to be seen. That is, until now, I'm going to give you a demonstration of a free application called Cloud Browse, which actually gives you full access to Flash applications. So let's go ahead and get started. Cloud Browse is a free download from the App Store. It's meant for the iPhone or iPod Touch, and of course you can use it on the iPad as well, as I'm going to do right now, so I can zoom in and make it a bit bigger. So let me go ahead and then open it up, and essentially what this is going to do is it's going to access an outside server. Now oftentimes this isn't going to work, there probably aren't that many there, and you're going to get this message right here, all servers are busy, you have to kind of keep hitting OK, and oftentimes it will take about 15 to 20 seconds of hitting this before you actually get in. Uh, I've launched this application probably about 10 times right now, and sometimes it takes 3 or 4 shots as we saw here, sometimes it takes 20 or 30. So the interface looks like a very simple Linux browser. You've got your tabs and say welcome to Cloud Browse and a Google tab right there. And if you've ever used a remote access client to access a remote computer on your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad, it's going to be very familiar. As you move your finger around, you'll see a mouse kind of follow you. You do have multi-touch for pinch and zoom. And the interface here is very simple. You've got your back and forward buttons. You have a web button, which is going to launch a window to type in your web search or address. A button to pull up your keyboard and some tabs, which is really just a simple list. So let me show you some of the most popular flash sites on the web to see if this is really going to suit you and let's see how it works. Uh, arguably the first most popular has got to be Hulu. That was the first one I wanted to check. So let me show you what that looks like. I'll go ahead and hit web and we'll go to hulu.com. And we'll see how this looks. And it loads actually pretty fast, certainly depending on your Wi-Fi speed. So here looks like we've got a clip from Glee. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit right there, and I will hit watch now, and let's see what happens. Sometimes you have to hit things a few times, you can see the, a mouse tends to follow you around. Zoom out a little bit. And we get a very familiar error message to those out of the US may have seen. It looks like, based on your IP address, we noticed you are trying to access Hulu through an anonymous proxy tool. So Hulu is not going to work on this, unfortunately, though we can't see that if it was sort of in a US location, uh, it probably would have. So let's take a look next at arguably the second or first most popular Flash-based website, YouTube. So let's jump on over there, and we'll go to youtube.com. And we'll go to uh, my channel, which is John Four Lakers. and see how this loads. So oftentimes these mobile applications have um, different versions of YouTube, so the iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad has their own different browser that just can't play the video directly inside of it. Although now we actually see that it's playing, and it's playing pretty clearly. You can see you've got me talking there. It's a bit uh, stuttery and the audio is not synced up necessarily with the video, uh, but it is watchable. And you can see, turn the volume down to hear me talk twice, and you can see that there is a flash-based ad that's showing up there in the right-hand corner, and things are playing. So let's see what happens if we try and up the resolution here. I wouldn't necessarily recommend watching a movie, but if you want to watch a video in a pinch, uh, this is going to work. So right now we are at, looks like 360p. Let's see what happens if we bump this up. Sometimes you got to hit it a few times to get it to work. So now we're at 480 a bit stuttery, but it's still watchable, not the best quality, and I assume we're going to see the same problem if we jumped it all the way up to 720. It's going to look even worse. And probably take a long time to play. So not so watchable, you don't notice any quality difference on this device, so whether you're in the lowest or the highest, it's not really going to matter. So let's jump back down to the lowest, see if we can get it to play as smoothly as possible, and we'll try full screen and see if that works. So here we are back at 360. And I should mention as well, the accelerometer does work, so you can go ahead and rotate any way you'd like, and we'll see if we can get this to play full screen and see how the quality looks. So it does play full screen, it doesn't degrade the quality, it looks pretty much the same as it did when it was on the main page. It's a little bit stuttery and not the best quality, but it's watchable if you need to uh, in a pinch. 
So let's see how this handles maybe some Flash games. We'll go to flashgames247.com, something else you may want to do. So we'll go ahead and launch this. We'll exit this. Flash games 247. All right, now we're just giving some advice for aspiring YouTubers. If you wanted to check that out, that's what that video was. So here we are on Flash Games 247. I'll go ahead and uh, just pick one. And so with Diesel and Death. And again, sometimes it doesn't always work the first time you click it. You have to do it multiple times to actually get it to recognize. So it didn't work right there. We'll try it another time and see if we can get one of these to play and see if it actually is usable. You could see on the right side there was flash content that was actually loading. So it does not appear to want to play. We'll try one more time. We'll try a penguin game and see if that works. And does not appear to be working, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's try one last site, which I know you guys probably check out quite a bit. We will try World of Warcraft. see if this would work. I know a lot of you guys play this and if you can play it smoothly from your iPad or iPhone I know you will be quite happy. So things are playing, flash content loading and you're going to get a very similar experience to what you had on uh, YouTube. It plays, it's stuttery, it's not going to be the best experience but if you got to go in there and kick some butt you probably could do it uh, but it's not going to be the best experience. So while this isn't full flash like Adobe would probably want for the iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch, it is a workaround. As you can see here, it does actually function. So is this something that you guys would use? Would you actually use this browser to check out some flash applications or no use for flash anymore on the Apple devices? Kind of curious what you guys have to say. Anyway, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, where you can go and create your own tech sub blog, talk to people on our social network, and even monetize your own websites, and make a couple bucks if you want. Anyway, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.